Okay, here's a quick tutorial regarding how to use, uh, make your any any asset uh, that was designed for Unity a little bit more accessible uh, for things like Blender or Godot. So the first thing you'll need is what's called a Unity package extractor, and uh, this is found on GitHub. So you will. Uh, download d download this okay so we uh, so the address is there and so now we go to clone or download and we download the zip now for the purposes of this I'm, I'm just going to be dumping everything into my uh, temporary directory so and then but you know you'd probably want to use proper directories and stuff like that okay so once it's downloaded we can see the package and there it is and let's extract it so because it's currently a zip file so we'll just drag uh, that across here okay and drag it all across once we've opened it and now all the files are in the one directory. Now we will open up a terminal. No, first we won't open up a terminal. We'll there's actually a zip file within a zip file. So we'll change to the temporary directory. And Just move this out of the way to make it a little bit easier to see and deal with. Yeah, it can get a bit get a bit cluttered. Now we extract the zip file from the GitHub thing we just downloaded and we have the extractor see the extractor.exe and then we have the the file that we want to unzip not unzip uh, to extract so let's go ahead and we're, because we're on a Linux system we're going to be using wine because this is a Windows application for some reason my, my Python's not working very well at the moment and so that didn't seem to work particularly well when I tried it earlier. So we make sure we get the file name correct. And oh and of course that's not going to work because I haven't unzipped this file. So there was a zip, uh, a zip file within a zip file. So now we copy all this to our temporary directory. And now where are we? there we are okay so now this is the package we're going to use the um, extract on so we type this in I believe on the Windows one you can just drop, drag and drop or something. Now it's important to get the name exactly correct when you're working with the command line. And let's see how we go. And it didn't work, why not? Oh, ah, okay. 
Yes. No. Yes, okay. Yes, uh, I'm trying to run a program called extract.exe and it's actually called extractor. So that probably explains why that didn't work. Okay, let's see how this goes. And we're off. Okay, so it's created a file called assets and it's now extracting all the uh, resources, for want of a better word, to the to this. Uh, so you can see there's uh, materials and there's models, and in the models you've got your it'll, uh, you've got your FBX files. Okay, and an FBX file is something that can now be used by you know Blender or something something like that. Okay, so how do we actually how do we actually sort of use this so let's fire up blender wherever blender is there's blender and we'll get rid of the default cube so make sure it's selected hit delete okay now we import and we import the fbx file we go to in this case our temp directory and the assets folder so wherever you've basically wherever it's been sort of extracted to and we just pick a model let's get a building and what should we use what should we use uh, what well, looks interesting uh, let's just go uh, I don't know let's go let's go shop damaged and it's very very small so uh, you can zoom in or you can you can just scale it up or when you're importing there's options for for scaling but as you can see it's imported the model uh, into blender quite nicely now to texture it go to textures new texture image or movie and we select our texture and again, we go uh, back to our temp directory where we saved everything, assets, blah, 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 textures. And so we've got like this PNG file and the PNG file will act as a texture. So open the image and nothing works. Why is that? Okay, that didn't work either. So what's going on here? Texture, texture. Nope, not working. Render it. No, still not working. Uh, let's just set the viewport. Or the camera, I should say. Now let's render that again, and definitely no textures there, so why is that? Uh, ah, yes, it looks like we were trying to texture the world. Okay, so what we should do is right click select the uh, model. Now we actually can texture the model before us texturing the world or something ridiculous. So now we go to texture, new texture, image or movie, yep, and now we select that texture again. So temp, and where are we? Ah, oh, that's right, it's in assets. There we go, and And let's zoom in and yep, the texture's been applied quite successfully. So sorry about uh, messing you around a little bit earlier, but that's that's the steps minus the incorrect steps to making to to in, to using uh, this these Unity files in something like Blender.